good morning so in the last class we learned about the taste that is what is the pathway how the taste sensation is carried to the central nervous system what is the receptor and where it is present what are all the different types of papillae and what are all the different types of tastes taste sensation so now we'll see how this taste sensation is carried to the central nervous system so that is called the transduction transduction of gustatory gustatory stimuli into electrical signals is initiated at the level of the receptors so i already mentioned that these are the chemoreceptors which are stimulated by the substances which are involved in the saliva so this dissolved substances okay with this act on the microvilli of taste receptors and then exposed in the microvilli of the taste receptors that is present near the taste pores of the taste buds so this what will happen this interaction typically depolarizes the cell either directly or via the action of the second messengers then a potential is developed in the taste receptors okay development of receptor potential so this in turn generates the action potential in the sensory nerve fibers so the mechanism involved in the transduction of five types of five different types of basic taste stimuli into electrical signals are different so first what will happen when the taste receptors are stimulated by the substances which are dissolved in the saliva so when these substances act on the microvilli which are exposed in the taste pores near the taste pores which are present so when this interaction that causes the depolarization in the taste receptor so this depolarization causes a receptor potential to develop in the taste receptor and this will be gen this generates the action potential in the sensory nerve fibers so this action potential is carried to the central nervous system and that the, the mechanisms are different for different type of sensations so we know that each sensory fiber carries information derived from a variety of taste stimuli however each fiber responds best to one of the five primary test qualities thus the encoding of a gustatory sensation is not a simple labeled line it's not a simple labeled line chemical sensory system instead the identity of a taste stimulus appears to be encoded by a unique pattern of inputs from many separate fibers that provide the components of the patterns for different stimuli in this respect the processing of taste information involves a comparison of the activity of different cells that respond preferentially but not exclusively to certain features of sensory stimuli next we'll see the taste thresholds and then intensity discrimination taste threshold means so to be recognized 
as that solution so how much the substance should be present in that solution that is the taste threshold for example to be recognized as a salt the substance need should be 0.01 moles whereas to be identified as a bitter the substance quinine it's the concentration is just 0.00508 moles 0.00008 moles this correlates with the notion that bitter serves a protective function against the alkaloids the next the intensity discrimination the ability of humans to discriminate differences in the intensity of tastes like intensity discrimination in olfaction is crude at least 50% change in the concentration of substances being tested is necessary before an intensity difference can be detected so this is about the the taste the transduction and then the taste thresholds and then intensity discrimination so women are more sensitive to sweet so now we'll see the factors affecting the taste sensation first one is the area of stimulation the perception of sense of taste is directly proportional to the area of taste buds stimulated therefore stimulation of a small area of the tongue by one drop of solution produces weaker sensation than the same solution by the whole mouth so it depends on the area of stimulation next the temperature of the taste tent an optimal response to the taste producing substances is obtained when the temperature is around 30 to 40 degree centigrade age after the age of 45 45 years the number of taste buds increase decreases so there will be decreased sensation of taste sex in women sweet they are more sensitive to sweet and salt and less sensitive to sour so these are all the different factors and effect of taste modifying protein for example miraculin has been observed when this applied to the tongue this protein makes the acid tastes sweet then the adaptation taste sensation adopts rapidly when taste producing substance is kept for a long time in one place in the mouth so this one is the feature of that is the one factor affecting the taste sensation so these are all the things next we'll go to the next slide that is the abnormalities of the taste these are agesia hypogesia dysgesia agesia means absence of taste sensation so what are all the causes suppose for example if there is a lesion of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve so there will be loss of sensation if there is a lesion of facial nerve so there will be loss of sensation of taste in the anterior two thirds of the tongue if there is a lesion of glossopharyngeal nerve so that causes the loss of sensation of the posterior one third of the tongue then drugs like captopril and penicillin also causes the loss of sensation of taste then hypogesia means it refers to the diminished taste sensation are not completely lost but there is increase in the threshold for the different taste sensation dyskesia means a disturbed sense of taste it is usually a feature of temporal lobe syndrome so this is about the abnormalities of the taste okay if there is any doubt please ask me thank you